Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man and I am stoked about this video today because we have an announcement and it's something that people have been asking about. First, let's talk about this cigar. I am smoking the My Father La Promesa. This baby just uh, debuted at the IPCPR 2019 show this year out of the My Father factories. And why am I smoking this one? Well, because the new High Desert Man Fox Cigar Collaboration Tasting Kit is available. And this is one of the cigars that's in there. Hit the intro. We have a lot to talk about today, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna kind of get going into things quickly here. First off, you can see the new High Desert Man T-shirt um, available at the Teespring store. I'll talk about that in just a few moments. First, let's uh, cut my cigar here. I had one of these last Tuesday night when I met Rob at the. Um, when I met Rob, why did I meet Rob Tuesday night? Oh, I was in town. I was in town for my sister's wedding. It's an awesome cigar. I'll talk about it in just a moment. First, right off the bat, down in the description below, you can uh, find the link to the new tasting kit. Give you a little recap of what this is. So, uh, a little over a month ago, I asked Rob at Fox Cigar, and, and I talked with Mitch about us doing a collaboration high desert man fox cigars a five cigar sampler uh, only available to my followers it's only available through the link that I give you you can't find it on their web page so don't go to fox cigar and, and search for high desert man or anything because you won't find it um, so the first one was was pretty awesome it was a good success I don't know, Rob hasn't gotten back to me with the numbers, but on like the first day we had 35 people order that, uh, that sampler. Um, and it was, it was a fantastic sampler and the idea behind these is I curate these cigars and Fox Cigar handpicks them out of their warehouse for me and uh, puts them together. Uh, sometimes they toss in a little something extra for you guys there, but it's a um, High Desert Man fans, you know, a cigar kit. So uh, five cigars, and I already had a kit in mind that I wanted to do, some cigars I had uh, picked out on their website. Dang it. All right, sorry for that break, guys. Um, okay, I don't know where I left off, but anyways, the, the sampler. So the sampler um, this month is priced at $34.99. It includes shipping. And the uh, MSRP on the cigars is $50.18. So um, uh, you're, you're getting a great discount plus free shipping. It's a fantastic deal. And I picked some phenomenal sticks for this, um, for this sampler. So before we get into that, let me torch this baby. And uh, so let's talk about this cigar a little bit. This is the <clears throat> La Promesa out of the My Father uh, factories. So my father cigars SA out of Esteli, Nicaragua. That is owned by Don Pepin Garcia and the uh, Pepin uh, Pepin family. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro. The binder is Nicaragua. The filler is Nicaragua. This particular Toro is the um, or Vitola is the Toro 6x52. Uh, the MSRP on this stick is nine dollars and twenty cents. And I did have one of these the other day. It was a phenomenal stick, but it was a bit of a spice bomb. It smells delicious. Draws great. Shout out to my new subscribers. Man, I'm, I'm just under 700. I think I have two or three more people until I hit 700. So please, if you could help out, Share my channel with your friends, uh, like this video, hit that bell for subscriptions, and uh, let's get me up over 700, guys. And um, I, I'm not necessarily planning a giveaway for 700 or, or anytime soon, but I am planning another giveaway, just kind of a random one. So uh, be ready for that. All right, so my new uh, subs are Juan Ramon, 
Senna Ashley, no, Senal Ashley, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Glenn Item, Michael Carter, Carrie Platt, and Bay Bread Genetics. So thank you, all of you, for following the High Desert Man channel. Um, and I really appreciate your support. Guys, hit me up in the comments. I try to reply to everyone's comments. Uh, okay, High Desert Man update. So obviously, we have new t-shirts with our new logo and stuff. These t-shirts are really, really nice. I, uh, so what I did was I set up a Teespring store. The link is in the description below. And we have High Desert Man shirts there, um, Patriarchal shirt, uh, Patriarchal Smoke, which is our Facebook group. Um, those shirts, I was wearing one of those last week, and, and just some other stuff. High Desert Man hats, they're available at the High Desert Man website, highdesertman.com. Uh, I want to get rid of these hats, guys, so so help me move them. Um, I'm getting a number of them out there, but uh, I, I just I need to get rid of these hats. They're, they've been moving slow. And they're really, really nice hats. I have the same company make my hats that does the crowned heads hats. So you know these are good quality hats. Let's talk about the new second um, High Desert Man and Fox Cigar collaboration. I cannot wait for this to come out. Um, Rob has sent me my sampler so that I can do uh, some more video on it and stuff. But it's available now, so I wanted to get this video out uh, so that all of you could start checking it out. Okay, so I just did a review on it. The Alejo, the Fox Cigar and Hirochi Robina collaboration. It's a 5.5 by 58. Total age on that cigar is 10 years, guys. The, all the tobacco in it was aged for 5 years. And then the cigar was rolled 5 years ago and, and uh, stored. And the idea behind it was to do something real special for the 170th uh, anniversary of the uh, Vegas Robina Farms in Cuba. It comes out of the La Corona SA factory in Esteli, Nicaragua that is owned and operated by Omar uh, Gonzalez Alaman, who helped make the cigar as well. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano 2000. The binder is Nicaragua, the filler is Nicaragua, and there's some undisclosed tobacco in there as well. So, since I'm kind of on a Hirochi Robina uh, kick right now, I threw in another cigar from HR Cigars, that's Hirochi Robina, um, and that is the HR Claro. The factory it comes out of, again, is the La Corona SA factory in Nicaragua. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano, binder and filler, both Nicaragua. The Vitola is the Robusto Gordo, 5 inch by 56, so it's a nice fat stick. And the MSRP on that stick is $9.95, so 10 bucks. I forgot to say the, the um, MSRP on the Alejo is $14.99, so you're, you're already at 25 bucks, guys, in two cigars. All right, the next one is one that I have been just waiting to smoke. I can't wait to get my hands on it so that I can review it. It is the CAO Flathead V19. Um, I don't know what factory it comes out of. The wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf. The binder is Connecticut Habano. The filler is Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. The Vitola is called the camshaft. It's a five and a half inch by 50 ring gauge. And the MSRP on that is $11.99. So another 12 bucks. We're adding up quick. The fourth cigar. My Father La Promesa, the cigar I'm smoking now. Uh, the factory is Tabacos Valle de Jalapa. Wait a minute, I looked at the wrong one. Sorry guys. No, the factory is My Father's Cigar uh, my Father Cigars SA out of Esteli, Nicaragua. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro. Binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. The Vitola I went with in the uh, tasting kit is the Corona Gorda. It's a five and a half inch long by 48 ring gauge. And the MSRP on that stick is $8.20. Guys, you're gonna love this cigar. If you haven't had this, this one yet, it is a really, really tasty stick. It's 
got a lot of pepper, a lot of spice. Uh, I'm getting that wasabi kick in the retrohale down my sinuses. It's, it's pretty strong. Um, what other flavors we getting here? All right, there's a nice sort of tanginess. Uh, it's not like the citrus tangy I get off the uh, uh, Fox Robina. It's uh, oh, it's got boy, it's got some, it's got some pepper in it. Black pepper, a little bit of cedar, um, a little bit of tanginess, and that tanginess is is sort of blended in with some wooded notes. Uh, man, it's a really, really good cigar. Excellent, excellent stick. Okay, the last cigar I included in the kit, and I was I was so happy to be able to get this one. I did a review on this one, and I really love the stick, and it comes in at a fantastic price. It is the Edition One Cloud Hopper. So Edition One is a company started by uh, Glenn, no, Glenn Kellis, uh, the guy from Warped Cigars. He and his brother, his brother's name is Devin, uh, started another uh, brand called Edition One. And their first release was a cigar called the Cloud Hopper. The Cloud Hopper comes in two sizes. The one I included is the number 458. It's a five inch by 48 ring gauge. The factory it comes out of is Tabacos Valle de Jalapa SA out of Esteli, Nicaragua. The wrapper is Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan. Uh, the MSRP on that stick is $6.50. Now it is a smaller Vitola, but that cigar has so much stinking flavor. It is a really, really good stick. It's got some good creaminess. Um, and all of these cigars, I would say all of these cigars uh, are in the medium to medium full uh, strength range. Now, I can't say for sure on the uh, Flathead V19 because I haven't smoked that one yet, um, but I think, it's, I think that one's actually supposed to be more full strength and full, full body. Many of these, I would say, are full body. You're going to get a good mouth texture. You're going to get some uh, creaminess out of some of these. You're going to get a lot going on just in the uh, texture and the feel out of these smokes. So. That's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the new tasting kit collaboration between High Desert Man and Fox Cigars. It is available right now. Like I said, the shipping is included, um, and you know, you, there's there's no company out there right now doing it like Fox when it comes to shipping stuff. I'm always happy to promote Fox Cigar because uh, I I've been going to Fox for 10 years uh, and. It's just a fantastic place, and they're really, they've really, over the last couple of years, stepped up their uh, online game. All right, guys, I'm going to smoke on this for a while. When I get uh, down toward the end, we'll come back and we'll recap this cigar. Stick around. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We are back, and I am uh, wrapping this My Father La Promesa down. This, uh, Man, this cigar is awesome. Very, very good stick. Uh, so let's see, what did I say at the beginning? Uh, th so the spice, the spice died down quite a bit. It's a lot smoother in the retro hill now, now than it was, but um, but still a good amount of pepper and stuff. This cigar has a great blend of some wooded notes, maybe maybe some cedar. It was it was cedar earlier on, but I don't think it is so much now. Um, some leather notes and a breaded component. There's there's a breadiness to it. The uh, let's see what's the finish like. Okay, the finish is the finish is fairly long on this, and uh, it's not. It's not hitting the back of the throat. Uh, it, it's kind of everywhere. It's it's kind of all over. It, 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 there's a really good body to this. Good mouth texture. 
Um, it has some creaminess, not a lot, but there's some creaminess there that's really nice. And, you know, I was, I was talking to my Twitch viewers over here about, um, I, I'm, uh, you know, because I've been smoking cigars for so long, I got to sort of witness the coming up of Don Pepin Garcia. Uh, you know, early on he was just, he was blending a lot of stuff for a lot of different companies and everything. And then he, he really kind of formed his relationship with Pete Johnson, Tatawahe Cigars. And th they really kind of solidified that. And then he started his uh, company, My Father Cigars, fully integrated. He's got farms, he's got a factory, he, he's uh, fully vertically integrated. And uh, the, somehow all these years, I mean, the guy's been doing it forever, but oh, it's, it's amazing that, it's amazing to know that someone can retain their signature flavor, their signature on their cigars. It's just a fantastic cigar. It's not quite as bold as as um, a lot of the stuff that he typically does, but it still has that signature spice of his that 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 he's known for. The burn has been really good. The uh, lots of uh, lots of good smoke. Um, I, I feel like it's trying to go out on me right now, and it's uh, it's probably mostly my fault. And his bands. His bands are just beautiful. And the way these bands, these two bands fit together, and there's something about the uh, the secondary band. The secondary band has La Promesa in this kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe a baby blue writing. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. His bands are always really, really nice. Very uh, traditional, which I really like. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this review, guys. And uh, the link to the new collaboration with Fox Cigars and High Desert Man is in the description below. And until the next video, stay rugged.